Hey, how's it going? And today we are taking a look at doing something that's an alternative to subscribing. You see a lot of subscribing going on in Verse where we bind one device to another. There is another way to do it. And if you use a loop with a, a weight, you can create the same almost effect as a subscribe. What I have in the scene right now is I have two item spawners. Disable the spawn item on timer and respawn item on timer. One item spawnered is dispensing a acorn and another is a dispensing an assault rifle. And then I just have two buttons here. And then I have the first device which is paired to the two buttons and the two item spawners. So what happens when I press this button this will spawn an acorn. When I press this button this will spawn an assault rifle. So this is what this looks like if we go into the game. Okay, so I'm in the game. And if I come up to this first button, you see there's nothing over here, nothing spawned in. And if I come here and I hit E, you'll see I spawned in an assault rifle. I can come grab it, come back over here, and I can just keep spawning one at a time. Then let's say I want an acorn because I'm part squirrel. I can hit E, and there's my acorn. Go grab it, come over here, get another one. And it just has, <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. Now let me show you the code for this, which is really interesting, I think. Because I like the fact that there's different ways of doing the same thing. So here in the code, basically I have a creative device I've called item selector. I have an at editable for the one button. I call that item one button, item two button. And those are there. And then the two spawners here. And here's what we do. We are actually creating a race expression here. And these are a lot of fun. And it's set on a loop. So it's just going to keep going and going and going. If I get rid of the loop, there's no reason this has to be here. Then this would just happen one time. So if you want that functionality where you just want something to happen one time, just get rid of the loop. If you want it to keep happening, just keep the loop there. Kind of cool, huh? And then we have our box here. And this is just when this button is pressed, right? When the item one button is pressed. And they both have the await here. So they're just waiting to get triggered. So they just sit there waiting. And when this one is triggered, Technically, this one cancels out, but then we're in a loop, so it just starts back over again. So, it's just kind of cool how we can use the await here, and it just waits. And we don't need another a task or a task event or a signal. We can just do this with just the await by itself. So anyway, that's all I had for today. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.